Hi. Hello. So? What? Come on, how was the date? Oh, the date. <laughs> the date. Yeah, what happened? It was interesting. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. Oh, let me see. How can I put it? Well, come on, just put it. Shut. Just shut the hell up. Uh, what do you think you're shouting at? I was only trying to explain because clearly you've lost the ability to move your mouth, haven't you? Save these lot coming down here, nosing around, wasting their time, thinking they can Lisa, do... Lisa! It's enough! Pipe down! This ain't about the weed, babe. It's... It's about Rachel. Surely he's mistaken. Mr. Crawford could not have been nicer or more gentlemanlike. Appearances often deceive, you know. But he's a clergyman. That signifies nothing these days. There's something that I wanted to ask you. Jason, we have only been on four dates. Oh, I know, and we've had an amazing time in each of those dates. I've had a great time too. I just don't want to rush into anything. I don't want to rush into anything either. Wait. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, I thought you were going to ask us to go steady. Do you even have a motive? A bloody good reason why I should lock up a bunch of socialites and throw away the key, however tempting that might be. What did you do on the last day of the semester? Is she deaf? Is she sick? I mean, can they really keep asking me the same question, hour after hour? It is so dumb we've been coming here so long and never spoke. I know. All those months doing a stunningly boring chore. Uh, I'm a fan of laundry. Psych. I love it. <laughs> right? I mean, the smell of fabric softener, mm. the feel of warm clothes in your hands. So good. So how was your weekend? Forgetfulness happens to us all. Enemy? Oh. Oh. I am the worst one. <laughs> oh. Where was I? Is there a murder in your film? No, that's not part of the story. No, I think you're wrong about that. No. So what you're telling me is your mum has got no right to be worried about you? Listen, officer, whoever, I've seen things you wouldn't even believe. So best not patronise me, yeah? Of course, of course. I didn't mean to patronise you. Anyway, it's just sex. Letting someone have sex with you whilst you're unconscious, it's not sex only, is it? I'm a sex worker. <laughs> so I do some funny things, but at least I'm my own boss. I don't have to listen to the bullshit people shove down each other's throats about love, marriage, monogamy, blah, blah, blah. What's the name of the guy she's doing? What? No, she's not... I'm going to solve your problems. What's his name? She's not doing any guy. She's not with any guy. Have you checked her email? I don't need to check her emails. Well, you can get a programme that records keystrokes. <laughs> Costs about 20 quid. Very easy to use, OK? You find out a password, check her email, you find out everything about her. That's how I found out about the matey states was running around with. Yeah, okay, just want you to stop there. I don't want you to do anything, okay? Why are you looking like that? I don't see why you should be surprised. I'm not frightened of you. Remember, I'm the child of gypsies and it was bound to come out sooner or later. What I really like. That's what you think, isn't it? Well, here it is. 